<clears throat> Good afternoon. Thank you all for joining us. I want to take uh, some time to update our community on the events that took place over the weekend surrounding the uh, protests and demonstrations on both the George Floyd and Michael Ramos uh, incidents. Uh, as has been widely reported over social media, I first want to discuss an incident that occurred last night. Uh, shortly after 11 p.m. last night, we had an incident occur outside of police headquarters where a 20-year-old African-American male was struck, uh, appears to be struck in the head with a less lethal, <clears throat> with a less lethal impact munition, uh, and the subject then fell to the ground um, and ultimately was transported to the hospital a short while later uh, and is currently in critical condition in the hospital. This incident was captured on the halo camera and so we have a full video of at least one angle of, of what we can see. And I've had the opportunity to look at that and, and what happened during that incident. Uh, the victim of this incident was standing both out in the street and then up towards the curb area in front of police headquarters. He was standing next to another subject. Uh, the victim of this incident was video recording with his phone and the subject he was standing next to at one point uh, throws a bottle, appears to be a water bottle, at the officers uh, in front of them up on police headquarters, the stairs. Uh, everyone appears to run back for a second and then they regroup. Uh, that subject then is wearing a backpack. He takes the backpack off and a moment later he does what appears to be a 360 degree revolution to get some velocity and he hurls that backpack towards the officers that were again securing the police headquarters. Uh, within a, a moment's notice after that one of the officers fired their less lethal uh, munition at that individual apparently but it struck this victim instead and this victim then fell to the ground and it appears as though he hit his head when he fell to the ground as well crowd of protesters picked him up and carried him under the 8th Street Bridge across the street from police headquarters. I believe they realized the severity of the injuries and they were talking to officers about him needing medical help. Uh, they were given direction to bring him to the officers and as is being widely reported and as is currently under review, it's reported that they were fired upon with less lethal munitions as they brought this victim towards the officers to get him medical help. I've seen pictures of uh, a person that was providing medical attention to all of those engaged in these activities and it appears as though she was struck in the hand uh, with what she's describing as a, uh, a, a impact munition. Uh, the victim of this case was brought through police headquarters and immediately loaded on an ambulance and transported to a local hospital. We immediately began a level one investigation into this incident last night, sending investigators to the hospital. And again, this investigation remains uh, ongoing. Um, we are praying for this young man and, and his family and, um, and, and, and are hoping that uh, his condition improves quickly. I know there have been questions about another incident that occurred on Saturday evening uh, or afternoon. This one involved a young man between 15 and 16 years of age, a Hispanic male who was on the berm on the side road on the east frontage of IH 35, uh, I believe in the 800 block. I've seen the video where uh, he is standing and it appears as though he is struck in that video that I've seen on social media with a less lethal impact munition in the head, uh, in the forehead. Um, I know that we are investigating that case as well. We are trying to pull together all of our video, body worn camera video, whatever else we may have to piece together what happened in that incident.